Good morning, YouTube. It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fave five players for today's six game main slate. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. Feel free to smash that like button. Please subscribe. And if you don't mind, press that bell icon to get notified for future content. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's go to point guard spot. My point guard for the day going to go with Ben Simmons going against uh, Orlando Magic. Great spot for him on DraftKings 8400. All right, he's projected to get around 48.1 projection, 5.7 value play in this matchup. Check it out on the Draft Dashboard tools. As you can see, the chance to hit five times value is up about 62% in this play. Great pace in game as well as. Philly gives up around two, uh, 102 in pace. Orlando's 98, so definitely got to keep up to keep this game going. But love this play for him. As you can see in the past few games against Orlando, you know, he had a high of 42 in this play. But knowing that Embiid is out, this guy's been balling recently in the past five games. 65 last game. 53, 36, 52. Love this play for him. Ben Simmons as my point guard play. If you want to go over some value, definitely look at a Corey Joseph. 3800 is a steal price. Even got 4500 on FanDuel. But love this price for him. As you can see in the past three games, 22, 39, 25. The minutes up there as well. His usage, 23% last game, y'all. So want to plug him in against Chicago. One of the worst teams on the on the point guard position you know you got darren collison as well that you can even choose from but love this play especially coming from the bench this guy has been balling love this play for him as you can see in the last five games against chicago he had a 30 high in that play so love this play for Corey joseph as well on the point guard all right going with shooting guards for today now going to shooting guard all right you can go with dennis schroeder you know you're gonna see the status with um with pg but, you know, right now, I think he's still questionable. Um, but, look, Dennis Schroeder's in the great spot. Last game, had a high 48 fantasy points in that game. You know, he's projected to get around 25 per projection. Around a 4.6 value play. But going against Minnesota, real weak, you know, is a weak, weak team. But, you know, he's one of those guys you definitely can count on. If you go put him on the two spot, he's one of those guys that could ball out. You can see in the past five games, 48, 30, 27, 30. You know, he's high on Minnesota. He had a 41 base point game. Getting the minutes last three games, 40, 31, 33. The usage averaged around 25%. So knowing he could get that from this caliber guy and at the 5,500 play, sign me up on that. Love that play for him. Also, go with like an Eric Gordon, y'all. This guy, he caught fire last game. He had a 46 fantasy point game. He's still only 4,800. DraftKings didn't change his price. So, love this play for him. Going against Toronto, one of the weak teams on the shooting guard position. As you see, last five games against Toronto, 35 20. Had a high 31 as well. So, love this play for Eric Gordon, y'all. Hopefully, he catch, keep catching fire. You know, love this play for him. He's a value of a 4.8 value play. Love Eric Gordon as well on that play. Going with small forward. All right, now small forward. You could also go with like a Thaddeus Young. 5,900 on DraftKings. He's a little expensive on FanDuel. I think he's a seven grand on FanDuel. Love this price for him, knowing that Sabonis is out. But love this play for him in the past three games. 35, 36. You know, again, the minutes, 36 last game, and the usage, around 18% in usage. But love this play for Thaddeus Young, y'all, going against Chicago. The week on this front, so definitely want to target him. Last game, he had a 30 fantasy point game. And look, past five games, as you can see, man, 35, 36, 40, 33, and it's high. So you see his caliber, what he could do. Also, could target like an Aaron Gordon as well. Aaron Gordon's in a great spot as well. Um, projected to get around 30.2 projection in this play against Philly. And he's been balling recently. He's been real consistent. So, love this play for him. And he's been balling against Philly, y'all. 40, 47, 34, 43, 37. This is my guy for today. Aaron Gordon in a great spot. So, plug him in. Love this spot for Aaron Gordon. All right, going to our power forward spot. Now, power forwards, let's get some value. Let's look at, you know, Jeremy Grant, you know, 5,300. He's still at a still price, but 
I definitely love to target him, even if the PG's out or not. Jeremy Grant's been balling recently as well. Getting in usage last game, 17 minutes is up there, average around 32. We had 37 last game, past three games, 30, 22, 34. Love this play for Jeremy Grant. So definitely want to target him in this play. Yeah. I love that play for him. As I stated before, you can also go with Daddy Young and Gordon in that spot. So you can also target him on the power forwards. All right, let's go to my last play at center. You know, want to look at Nikola Voltovich, knowing he's in a smashing spot with Noden Bead in the, on the court. This guy's balling. Last game, 61 fans points at 35 minutes, getting about 8, 28% usage. He's projected to get around 38.9 projection, only a 4.2 value, but love this play on DraftKings. But if you want to go with some saving spot, could also target Miles Turner, y'all. 57 is a steal price so definitely want to look at him as well going against chicago nobody can really you know go guard against them last game you know he did bummer on a 13 but see his upside 49 36 um love this play for him so now it's turner man hopefully he can do damage tonight all right he's projected to get around a 4.8 value play so love this play for him or you go with a marker saw but you know, as you see, 5,700. Projection get around 36. It's a 6.3 value play for Mark Gasol in this matchup. Um, even though he played against them when he was on Memphis. Uh, Memphis but on Toronto, he should definitely do damage. Past through five games, 37-43. Um, five, past five against uh Houston 43, 39, 36. So he has upside in this play for Mark Gasol. So you definitely want to target these two guys, especially on FanDuel. We cannot reach for a both of this, but love these two plays as well. So if you like my plays, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lineup, feel free to comment below. And once you sign up on the draft dashboard tools in my link in the description, you have access to my plays. All you have to do is click on your watch players. This is where you have your custom plays and you'll see watch Melo DFS picks button up top. Click that button. You have access to my plays for either DraftKings or FanDuel. One stop shop y'all. So definitely take a look. Love Love y'all, y'all collect that bag for today. I see y'all new. Tell them bye, tell them bye. <laughs>